Mamma? I request all participants to please mute your mic. If you want to interact, then unmute the mic and then you can discuss. Please unmute your mic. Mute your mic, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Honorable Chief Speaker, Sal uh, Kanziwala, who has completed his MBA, MCA, PhD, FDP in IIM in the and working as the Dean Faculty of Business and Commerce in Athmiya University, Rajput, Gujarat. Earlier to this, he had worked as a CEO in Pujara Telecom Private Limited, Rajput. Before this, he was uh, been in charge and associate professor in School of Retailing, 
सिम्बासिस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंस इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश ही हैड बीन अवार्डेड एज ए टर्च बियर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ गुजरात फॉर हिज सिग्निफिकेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन इन मैनेजमेंट एजुकेशन इन हिज क्रेडिट publication of more than 30 international and national research paper and seven case studies he has written various books on management information system digital electronics product and brand management it fundamentals and pc software he is appointed as a reviewer of journal of us china public administration David Publishing Company, New York, U.S. He had co-authored and co-presented more than seven oh, case studies. Some of the well-known contribution in case studies is Reliance Press, which was chosen among the best case studies at IIM Kolkata in AIMA convention and published in the book Marketing Practices in Developing Economy. PHI publication and forward by Dr. Philip Kotler, who is considered as one of the management guru in marketing. The Tata Nano case case study was chosen among the best case studies in AIMA convention called for presentation in Wellinger Institute, Mumbai. Thank you, sir. I welcome you to this forum. now i would like to introduce our beloved dean engineering sir professor priyadarshi kanungo he is working he is also working as the professor in the department of electronics and telecommunication at cju bhubneshwar odisha he has more than 21 years of teaching and research experience his area of interest is signal processing image analysis and computer vision parallel genetic algorithm evolutionary computation and bioinformatics machine learning soft computing ai and robotics he has more than 50 publications in reputed journals national and international conferences also he has guided many mtech and phd students he has organized many national and international conferences he has visited many foreign universities in istanbul turkey korea malaysia israel malta ethiopia either as a research person or presentation of paper or imparting training he was the recipient of outstanding faculty award in 2011 and 12 best teaching award in 2013 and 14 and outstanding overall performance award in 2014 at cju and cognizant technology best teacher award in the year 2014 i like to invite uh, our dean engineering sir to say few lines regarding the uh, importance of case studies in the teaching learning methodology sir please so madam uh, honorable speaker professor visa uh, kasigola dean faculty of business and commerce atmia university rajkot india and program coordinator professor sanjit alinka head of business management professor sukant kisar bisoi dsw and madras coordinator of cg orissa principals and faculties of madras institution distinguished professors other deans heads of the departments faculty members and student of cg odisha a very good morning to all of you i welcome all of you to this webinar on how to write a case study a step by step method department of business management has taken a great initiative that this webinar which is a most vital parameter for education 4.0 and nep 2020 thanks to professor visa in context the studies provided a very beneficial to the student or you can say it will prove a very beneficial to the student especially in the classroom 
students can actively engage in the discovery of the principles by conceptualizing from the examples furthermore they develop skills like you can say problem solving coping with ambiguities analytical quantitative qualitative tools according to the case decision making in complex situations so looking into all these advantages of case study in the learning process in our university we introduce the experiential learning and case study in each and every course of all ug and pg programs case study is a tool which will enhance the lifelong learning skill of a student so lifelong learning is one of the major uh, program outcome of uh, engineering program so most of the students are confused how to proceed and how to write a case study i am confident that today's webinar will be very fruitful for all the student to proceed with the assigned case study and it will be a great insight for the faculty members to go with the right case lead and developing rubrics for the evaluation and assessment thank you all thank you very much now i call upon uh, uh, professor bisal sir uh, to take up the session thank you very much uh, thank you very much i am very much thankful to dr c v raman global university for providing this wonderful opportunity <coughs> to have a fruitful discussion on how to write case study before going this going for this one i from bottom of the heart i am very much thankful to the professor kanan go dean engineering professor sajita madam head business management for wonderful interaction and wonderful uh, opportunity for interacting with the most eminent participants so before going to start i would like to ask one questions so if you give the answer i will give the virtual chocolate uh, physical chocolate will be given by your dean or hod but i am uh, happy to share the virtual chocolate so now my first question is which is the best and most important case study of universe this question is for you all my dear participants i need your fast response chocolate is with you it is a interactive session that i already share in the chat box yes my dear participants anyone which is the best and our most important case study of universe anyone uh, climate Uh, yes, sir. Climate. Uh, climate. Yes. Uh, climate. Sun, sun. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Anyone more? Thank you, sir. Evolution of our universe. Evolution of our universe. Okay. Bhagavad Gita, Great. sir. Yes, sir. Bhagavad Gita, sir. Bhagavad Gita. Great. Great. Great answer. One chocolate from my side. it is confirmed my request to the hod sir to give the chocolate from my behalf thank you sir thank you anyone more uh, you are yeah. near to correct answer your answer is absolutely correct but <coughs> as per my input it is near to correct answer but still you deserve for the chocolate anyone more participants will help me to move forward last two response expecting either chat box or by unmute yourself last to respond from anyone otherwise i will open the door i will open the curtain global peace fantastic anyone last response bhagavad gita great my dear all participant the most 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 important case study of universe is our own life the most important case study of universe is our own life who we, who am i the first question that we would like to ask from ourselves who am i may kon ho what is my dream mera sapna kya hai what i want to do in my life main apni zindagi mein kya karna chahta hu what is the purpose of my existence mere astitva ka kya existence hai why i am exist in the earth main earth pe exist kyu karta hu what is the way what are the ways by which i able to reach to my destinations who is my ideal these are the certain questions which come in our mind if we able to give the answer 
the case study will get the solution so life is the life our own life is the best way to understand and the question mark for everyone what i want to do in my life so if we get the answer of these questions we definitely get the meaning of our own life so my dear uh, all participants uh, in a management education there is a one word which always recommended by most of most of most of faculty members or most of the books are talk about which i have written in the chat that is called sort analysis is anybody would like to give the full form of the sort analysis it is very simple word for business education what is the sort analysis is w o t strength pain weakness opportunity threat fantastic great A perfect answer we have to perform the sort analysis of our own life we are performing the sort analysis for many cases which we are encounter during the classrooms in which we are recommending to our students to give the answer of or analyze the case with the help of sort analysis if we perform our own case study of life with the sort analysis definitely we able to get some response so my dear friends now moving further so this is the how to write a case study there are certain misperception or misperception about case study what are the misperception about the case study uh, case study is nothing but a story kind of unseen passage an article or raw description of situation is it right yes or no write in the chat box is yes. right yes or yes. no write in the chat box right one right one yeah yes yes fantastic fantastic there are very good participants i like such kind of participant every time so story it is not a kind of film story that are discussed in the classroom it is not kind of unseen passage where the certain statements are written followed by question and answer and you require to give the answer on the basis of the statements written over there but my dear friends the question are the pointers again i repeating the statement the questions are the pointers which helping us to analyze the case whatever the passage given in the case it is for understanding it is for information it is for analysis and the the question which are written below the paragraph are nothing but we are required to understand the case and apply the thought process on the pointers which is given in the form of questions it is not a kind of article which we want to read and just collect the information and it is not only a raw description of situations it is something beyond about this for all sometimes a student feel the teachers are coming with the case study in the classroom to because it is a favorite past time teacher does not able to prepare the sessions so he is coming with the case study giving to the students so the student will have a discuss and gradually session will be over my dear friends this is a not a right understanding about the case being being a teacher again are the three critical area which we are work working as a academician questions being a teacher we have three major area through which we are imparting or contributing to the society what are the area what are the three works which are performing being a academicians yes any teacher would like to give answer maybe students who would like to also give the this dip oh great dr avik is very active teacher he 
ट you will learn to help in self education see attitudinal change and it is also help in retention of the knowledge it is also to help in retention knowledge how case study helping to the retention of knowledge will be shared in the next slide before this the case study is very very important for the business people also why because many case study have story of success many case study have learning about failure many case study have a lot of dilemmas but all case studies definitely give the experience to the business man because you can learn the real life which is written in the form of case study the business people get a vital insight from the case study and this vital insight they can apply into the real life there are many kind of situations are explained in the case study they may are facing the same kind of situation in the their, their real business if they able to resolve or understand the situations and come with the some favorable responses in terms of outcomes in terms of solutions in terms of recommendations and if apply such kind of recommendations in their own real life business case study then they able to write one more story of success so base case study is not only important for academicians it is also important for students and business person so before going for how to write the case study this is the main title i just would like to share what is the case study a case study is nothing but a research method in depth and detail examination which have description of real life situation concerning an organization or set of circumstances huh? i can explain mute very it? simple word uh, request to the participant to mute uh, please so i can say in very well, a case is nothing but a slice of slice of organic re reality presented in the form of discussion a case is nothing but a slice of organic reality presented in the form of discussion so my dear participant till the time it is clear right uh, three in the chat box faster response i needed if it is clear right three in the chat box if not clear right four i will again explain if it is clear right three in the chat box if not clear right four yeah my dear friend your fast response great friends what i said the one of the major role of case study is to retain knowledge how we able to retain the knowledge 10% student remains faculty remains our faculty retains our student retains 10% of knowledge what they read they able to retain 20% of percent what they hear what they see they 50% they see and hear they able to retain they say and do do, do is very important is possible doing and performing with the help of some to check or apply the concept which we have 
taught books my dear participant when we talk about schools in the world in the world like harvard business schools i am in india okay more focus on k3 even their 70% to 80% of teaching learning pedagogy is based on case based learning when i was doing from i am at that time the teachers are just throwing the case studies there are 14 to 18 session per subject only 14 to 18 sessions per subject only even our teachers are putting effort of 48 to 50, 60 sessions to give a particular concept and learning uh, in terms of subject but we have to learn from 14 to 18 subjects only each session is of one and half hour and out of 18 uh, session one or two sessions is only for the conceptual understanding and understanding the importance of subject and rest most of the sessions are belong to the case study we are in contact with the more than 200 case study in the tenure of two years and that is the real learning we able to get it from the case study that is the important of the case study whatever the concept that we are have to remember for writing in the classroom it does not require to remember it is all it is if it is properly understandable if it is properly understandable then it is easy for us to retain and explore in the copies or explore in the real life or explore when we are doing the business or explore when we are performing the job so moving further the uh, this is a one situations which i am giving for you i need your answer this is small case let for you made milk is a rajkot based company want to launch the company has is limited fund ticket in a week after launching being marketing head or being a cmo chief marketing officer that is the best strategy to fulfill the target now expect the response on in the chat box or unmute your yes my dear participants this is small situation i put up for you this is a real demonstration of the case study i have the term is a case lead because i have put up four lines only so i am sharing with the case case lead if it is more because case lead so giving in the chocolate questions again crowd area to our business fantastic so i just i want to ask aditya ji ki uh, what do you do over there okay one answer is from koshik advertisement make it available at each and every grocery store okay thank you uh, murli ji uh, sorry murali uh, madam are a strong connectivity every uh, shop fantastic okay last two response then i will share what i did and how i able to sell out 6737 packet good quality made in good drink in low cost plastic last one is i want free gateway for day uh, one only in beginning we can give extra discount okay great what i did is only if i am going for this situation in a uh, uh, i face in nine limited uh, at the time this situation was there this location of the city this is a kind of mango shake it is only sellable it is only sellable with the help of packet you get the 10th packet free and the costing of that mango shake which i providing in tetra pack is 9 rupees 50 paisa and if anybody buy the 9 packet free which the name of the mall is treasure island so in the mall i also put up the counter because i know the people are the crowded and the people are visiting over there they are liking the okay. to sell 6000 packet in a week because sampling is the only solution by which people take the taste and when they like they want to buy it advertisement is very important i am uh, i am not against with the answer which is given by door to door thing is important 
reaching at every grocery shop it's important but my dear students my dear colleagues when you are launching a product at that time the grocery sellers are not interested to put your product on the outlet if it is interested it still it is not possible to generate the sales of 5000 packet in a week why because people are does not want to buy only giving the advertisement yes 20% 30% people may interested but the target is only a week only in a week i have to generate this amount of sales and it is only possible when i connect with the people at the market so in order to do this one i did this one and i able to more than 6737 packet at that time so this situation helping us to understand the real life learning which was happening in the market and that is the importance of case study that give a real learning sampling is a technique which you already read in the promotion mix promotion mix i hope in marketing it is a one of the topic where you talk about advertisement personal selling sales promotion direct marketing this uh, and uh, public relations so these are you talking about so this is a concept that you already read in the textbook but when you get a uh, chance to practice this concept when you get chance to apply this concept then you able to learn the real study the real learning is only possible and that is the role of case study i hope you are getting the point if yes write five in the chat box so move, i will go ahead and this is introduction part which is already given now we start the real sense of how to write the case study thank you very much thank you very much for your response if anyone is not able to understand write six in the chat box no issue now we are going on understanding of how to write case study these are the five pointers i will discuss for remaining one hour more than one hour so that you able to understand how to write the case study so i have divided how to write the step by step case study into the five pointers first pointer is selection of incident data collection structure of the case disguise and release and presentations now moving further i would like to ask one question what are the contemporary issues right now in the world what are the contemporary issues right now in the world which you are reading in the newspaper or listening war very good dr avi uh, i am war environment fantastic war yes war uh, apart from war inflation. environment yes inflation sir? inflation fantastic great thank you right answer price hike global peace hike in the petrol price very good climate change price rise right fantastic any different answer all are 100% correct 100% correct not be 99.99 any more response any more climate change war gst fantastic so my dear friends this is a first opening point to write the case study this is a fast opening point to write the case study you can write the case study on what how it impacted to the economy of the world yes missing sustained development of human yes fantastic political issues fantastic the in india if you talk about lot of uh, things are happening about the religious issues if you talk about company now big bazaar become smart bazaar this is again a one of the pointer to write on the case study this is called selection of indian foreign affairs poverty inflations price high gst uh, what is the we can say what is the effect of covid on the student psychology this is another subject of study political issue uh, poverty price increase fantastic arpita so my dear friends my dear colleagues this is a pointer to write the case study whenever you writing a case study you you have to select the incident which are happening in the society which are happening in the global context which are happening into the any industries so any any incident 
update you to identify once you identify the incident you can be right like currently you are uh, maybe may most of the participants are interested are maybe watching ipl and currently you observe that the uh, audience are uh, the water the audience are watching the ipl is low as compared to last ipl this is also a point of selection of incident incident means implementation of fantasy nitin ji these are the selection of incident on this level, to start writing the case you start writing i am dividing the selection of incident into the part you can start writing the case on that incident and that incident which we term as a case lead lead middle means you need a pointer you need a pointer on which you would you would you want to write the case case lead always start with a lead which is an indications that something worthwhile from the case writer point of view is likely to occur again i repeating what is case lead case lead is nothing but is a starting point which an indication that is some of you think to occur i had written uh, one case study on tata nano the tata nano case study the idea came when there was a story of written tata was published in the newspaper there was an incident happened with the written tata written tata was uh going in on the uh, mumbai road he, his car was standing at the signal waiting to be turn uh, turn signal green at the time there was a uh, weather where the uh, there was a rainy weather at the cross uh, who is standing over there and try to protect from the rain but uh, the family have four members younger child standing at the front the the wife is trying to to protect the little bit rains but because of heavy rain to protect their family at the time the ratan tata got some idea how i can protect this family from this weather and when the ratan tata went to the new york at the time there was a press conference in the press conference uh, with the financial times he had shared that i am i am planning to come uh, with a car of 1 lakh rupees and that particular incidents which was shared by ratan tata to the reporter converted into the verdict and that verdict is come into the newspaper the ratan tata is coming with the 1 lakh car for middle class people ratan tata has two option one option is to protest against this this reporter or this news second is to took this challenge and prove it ratan tata is a visionary he has selected the second option and they motivate me to write the case study on tata nano so my dear friends colleagues this is called case lead this particular incident provoke me inspire me case on the tata nano so that you have to identify from the market when we talk about the theme while selecting a case lead theme and the organization which is of interest to him and to be anticipate learning group again i repeating once you identify the case lead then you have to identify the theme theme for example in the case of tata nano the theme is related to the business environment the theme is related to the business environment why environment because making a car of 1 lakh is a the ideal exist at the time is maruti in a dead car with the time at the cost of 1 lakh 91000 and the tata ratan tata want to provide that the the person who has lead this project ratan tata the name of that person is 
Girish Vak. The Girish Vak did more many of he did innovation how uh, in his scooter how really can I make the three wheeler kind of uh, car which also protect the family so lot, he did lot of idea has applied and ultimately the Tata Nino is a result of his innovations so this particular case is based theme of business environment there are certain uh, uh, issues there are certain issues related to the you know theme of new product development it is a must of the challenge which the return tata has faced so major theme of this new product development process and the sub theme is business environment and on this theme i have write, write whole case study another case which i had written on reliance fresh there was a lot of protests against the reliance think about to start the vegetable ac retail outlet across was open in hyderabad and the second outlet was open in indo city at the time there a lot of protests was there the roadside vendors has come on the road to discuss with the government if the big houses like reliance company come into the kind of low profile business then how it affect to the livelihood of uneducated people so they have a lot of protests lot of revengeful attitude of the people because they feel that it will affect the livelihood the reliance would like to buy the vegetables directly from the farmers the cold storage wholesaler also come uh, in the protest ki if they they start directly selling to the uh, customer and they are not using the middleman cold storage facility they also affect to our business so this all will provoke me to write the case on reliance fresh which is called case lead and theme of this case is purely on business environment why because customer are on happy side reliance fresh is on happy side when we talk about dark side then the cold cold storage is on dark side the uh, farm uh, the farmer is also on the uh, uh, brighter side the road side vendor is also on the dark side the wholesalers is also on the darker side the government is also in dilemma because reliance fresh is also doing a uh, legal business he cannot stop them to uh, do a legal business but how to protect them so they the the livelihood of the roadside vendor which affect by opening this will be taken care of so this all factor i here when i write the case team means the would like to the learner interest give a proper answer at the end of the learner will lose the interest in between there are many cases which are taken by faculty members who are coming from the harvard university they are not able to connect with the case there are many cases whose language is very hard there are many cases which are giving information which is not understandable to the participant and because of this they are not very much involved in the case so learner interest is also very important and the homework means you have to identify the case lead according to case lead you have to collect the data you have to identify the area and scope uh, on which you want to write the case you also have to take care of the interests of the learner and this all you require to perform as a homework so my dear colleagues if it is clear selection of incident write uh, seven in the chat box right seven in the chat box this is a very important step it is a like uh, when any film director want to make any film he requires some idea and this idea provoke him to make the picture make the movie of particular incident happen in the country or particular likely interest of the audience thank you if it is not understandable you have right to ask by unmute or write eight in the chat box 
or any question in between you can interrupt also me for the same thank you now the second part is data collection which is also very very important data collection means when we are writing a case i already shared the case study is nothing but a uh, uh, is a uh, slice of organic reality slice of organic reality it means we would like to put a real time situation in the case we don't want to write the case on hypothetical situations if writing on hypothetical situation it does not give a valuable input to the part takers so whenever we are writing the case it is writing the case on the real life situations so the data collection is very important and observation is one of the technique which is most highly rewarding method for data collections for developing a case lead to begin with the the case writer should be able to observe the process being happen in the particular situation the it is a kind of extreme reaction he would like to observe and want to like you are uh, seeing a lot of web series in which lot of reporters are there he is observing the whole situations and writing the whole reports so when we are writing a case on any particular industry an industry has given permissions to write the case even i would like to share one real time situation which was shared by my one of the my professor in the uh, classroom there was a one incident happen in bata company the incident was that in 1978 near about data company sorry bata company was facing a huge cash crunch even the sales are going good even the director does not able to understand what is the real problem the bata companies are facing at that time there were uh, the md has had called a meeting with the, all the members all the key members of the company that this was the situations we are not able to provide the cash on time to the our uh, cash on time to the our employee cash on time to our vendors and even though we are getting a good sales what we had to perform so that we can overcome with this problem lot of directors come with a lot of solution but still whatever the implementation done with the all solutions it is still the problem remain the same then again the second time again md has called a meeting that whatever the suggestion was discussed in the board meeting some of the suggestion we had implemented but it does not turn around into good result then one of the director had shared that i have very good relationship with the one of the professor of i am amdabad can i involve to understand this situation then the md has had given the permission to involve that particular professor for this purpose the professor of marketing had sent his one of the student at kolkata to just observe and understand the whole situation of the company so that particular student has visited the company he was available at the time in the company for more than 15 days after 15 days he had prepared a complete report and suggested certain solution to his im professor before going and just to sharing the solution to im professor he had discussed with the mt and the suggestion which was given by him was very shocking is anybody able to uh, share the suggestion which was given by him and this suggestion has definitely solved this problem yes anyone would like to give a suggestion yes my dear friends any suggestion what suggestion was given by the student to the md any idea my dear 90 plus participants yeah come on it is your session it is not my session i i would like to learn many thing from you yes anyone there are 90 plus all eminent participants no problem the suggestion was given by him is the suggestion given by him was very shocking the suggestion was please close the production house for 6 month 
you don't require to produce any goods for six months. The MD was very, very, MD was very much shocked by this suggestion. He had called the director that this was the suggestion given by this student. We are facing a cash crunch. And he, he was suggesting that we have to close down the production for six months. How are we able to give the salary? Even we are not able to provide the salary for the last two months. And by this suggestion, do you feel that we are able to uh, give the salary? Do you feel that we are able to pay the payment to the vendors? Then he had discussed uh, with the IM professor. And IM professor also agreed with the suggestion given by his student. Yes. Can anybody interpret why he had given this suggestion? Okay. Third chocolate questions. So I request uh, after the session uh, to uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Kanungo, sir, to provide a chocolate to the base participants. Sorry, without taking permission, I am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will give it. Okay. So anyone, one would like to interpret why this suggestion was given by why this suggestion given by student? Any interpretation? Yes, I am okay, looking for the in the chat box. Is the interactive session? I again I share you. Don't worry. Nothing is right, nothing is wrong. Everything is fair in love and war. It's similar to create artificial security in the market. Fantastic. Uh, uh, Mishra, sir. Anyone more? One answer, two answers is expected. To observe the market, fantastic. Uh, but uh, if I get the right answer, the sir has already given the permission to uh, give the chocolate. Anyone more? To feel the demand in the lean situation. Okay. Anyone more? Still I'm looking for. Still I'm looking for. To show this value using in present market. Okay, last edition. Then otherwise, uh, the chocolate question will be taken for next uh, next part of the slide. Anyone more answer by unmute or by sharing? No problem. The reason is overproduction. Their working capital crunch. They they have enough amount of productions are available in their warehouses in the form of finished stock. Even though they, if they did not produce a single unit for six months, so whatever the demand which is going every month, if you are selling with the same demand, it's still they have stock, finished good stock of more than six months, more than six months. And they are investing again and again for producing a more number of so, uh, so no number of shoes and other types of shoes, no, other types of sleeper, other types of material, which is not required at the time. Whatever the amount of goods available in the stock are sufficient as per the demand of per month. So they are investing huge amount of money into the producing the goods and which create a, a working capital problems. And that's because of working capital problem, they are not able to pay the things on time to the vendors, not able to pay on time salary to their employee. This is the real problem. So if, we don't, if they stop the production, so uh, they only require to concentrate on the sales. And in the 1980, Bata is the first company. Bata was the first company who has given and come with the marketing solution with the name of sale. So Bata is famous because of sale. And because of this concept of sale, the what of the stock available for more than six months is exhausted into three month period. Because people have first time encounter the concept of sale. And this is the, again the real example of the case study. You can learn the real knowledge with the help of case study. 
So data collection, uh, one of the technique which I'm share in the data collection is observation is very, very important. Second technique is kind of interview in which you are in which you are interacting with the stakeholders, which is directly or indirectly part of your case. The interview basically aids the life to a case. So it is important to go as high as possible in the organizations to take their opinion. The case study which I had discussed with you about Ratan, uh, Tata Neno, in which I also took lot of interview with the stakeholders. I went personally to the Hyundai showrooms, even the Ratan Tata is planned to come with the Lakhtakia car. So what is your opinion? How it uh, impact to your market? Do you have any plan to come with the same kind of car? I went to the Maruti also, Hyundai also, to just collect their views. In the case of Reliance Fresh, I took the interview with roadside vendors, with the Reliance Fresh, with the government authorities, uh, with the, uh, like, uh, uh, with the cold storage wholesalers, just to understand their opinion, what they would like to say about these situations. So interview is again a very important technique. If you talk about interview, it is a interview have certain classic set of rules that case setter can use during interview. What are the rules? Listen what he says. Listen what he says. Listen what he does not say. And listen what he cannot say without your help. Again, I am sharing the golden rules at the time of taking interview. Listen what he says. Listen what he does not say. Listen what he cannot say without your help. So these are the major rules of interview and that you can keep in mind. Sometimes the body language also help you to understand the opinion. Sometimes words you don't, you can listen the by body gesture. Okay, what is the oral opinion? What is oral uh, says about these particular situations? And the third way of data collection is operating statistics. We talk about the secondary data. Operating studies is talk about secondary data. It may be, suppose you are writing a case study uh, and you have the incident which you have selected right now is war. Then you would like to understand what are the economic situation happening into the, in the developed country, in development countries, what is the, uh, what is the uh, major, what is the major uh, stake in the employment, how the employment is going on, how it affected to the employment, how it affected to the livelihood of the common people, how, how it affected to the GDP. So these all secondary data are helping you to give the background to the case. If it is clear to you all, write nine in the chat box. Yes, if it's clear, write in nine in the chat box. Yes, uh, I'm waiting for your answer. Pass. Yeah, received a five to seven response. What about others? 90 plus participants. What about others? If any question, write 10, give number 10 or write or ask them by unmute yourself. Thank you. The next part is important. That is called structure of the case, which is also called anatomy of the case. Here in this particular slide, we are talking about how to write the case. We identify the lead in the case. We have identified the lead in the case. We have identified what are the ways by which we would like to collect the data. This year, uh, we identified a lead by using this one. Then what are the ways by which we can collect the data? Now we are going to write the case. That is, we would like to define the structure of the case. So when we are going for defining the structure of the case, there are certain pointers that I would like to discuss with you. The first is very important. It's called time structure. Many times being a teacher or being a student, you are facing a lot of problems. 
because whenever we are giving a solutions or suggestions in the given case you have to leave that time this is a very important statement i am sharing again you have to leave this time if the case was written in 1982 the case was written in 1982 and you are giving a suggestion that you have to use the social media you have to use the internet how this solution was applicable in 1982 when the technology is not available when the mobile phones uh, it was not available this solution is was not correct because you have to leave the case on that time at the time it was written the time structure is very important so when you are writing a case i personally recommend it to all participants that you have to mention the date and time in the case also that helping to the participant to live to live this situation when it was occur it is very important so time structure is nothing but a kind of sequence of event leading to the incident in the case again i repeat this statement which is very important time structure is nothing but it is a sequence of event leading to the incident in the case okay i just share one uh, example and chichore is a one movie which was going from flashback to present again going from flashback to present three idiot going from flashback to present flashback to present so the director has properly managed the flashback to present and that way the director able to create the interest of the audience and this movie was a one of the successful movie in the bollywood so time structure is very important so he uh, the director as uh, managing the flashback and the show the early origins of the situation build up the story the time structure the time structure is talking about the sequence of events happening in the event you have to synchronize the event in a such a way that it would look like a logical sense otherwise in between if the case reader are confused and in dilemma so he cannot able to give the right response and that is the role of narrative structure the the purpose of narrative structure is to present the event that took place and the narrated in some kind of pattern again i repeating the statement a narrative structure is very very important and the purpose of narrative structure is to present the event that took place and the circumstances of their happening uh, narrated in some kind of pattern so so what you are doing to our story to generate and the statement it is a kind of flow of thought and sustain the reader interest and it is necessary to ensure that the various part of the case are logically and clearly narrated logically and clearly narrated do you want to create it the flashback points which i want to if you want to give the life and you want that your case uh, will be used for very long time 20 year 30 year 50 year 70 years so please write the case in the past tense again i am repeating the statement please write the case in the past tense this past tense will give more life to your case because when you are reading a uh, books in which the cases are written it is also written in the past tense the past tense is very very important the third point in the structure of the case is expository structure expository is very important because it is true and and the reader is to bound to be differ in order to make they create the common framework so that done this difference can can be overcome by manner the situation represented in the case or you can or maybe the relay even background uh, this all are properly aided in the form of annexures so the difference the difference between the case 
change the case reader can deal with the case they should become aware of it is a rule of expository important which is called prot the prot talk about many time is we are simply narrated the situations so it will situation is occurring in the case what is the major issue he does not able to understand because the, the way we narrated the case it is a blind narrations please don't do such way otherwise the reader will lose the interest and he he is not happy to uh, to the case leader who would like to take case in the classroom is not so when we writing a case it should not merely a kind of blind narrations of incident around certain issues and generate thought and interest of the participation fix in the case some dissident issue in the case some kind of reaction in the case some kind of problem in the case the issues need not to be explicit in the form of questions or uh, questions or decision choice if it is asked in the form of questions in the case so the reader directly reach over there so some part of small complexity are expected some part of the complexity are expected in the so for case to be really a living thing if you really living thing there must be a drama there must be a suspense there must be a questions what someone should what someone should have done or who is to for this situation and finally what is the best decision to answer a case writer has in fact to deal with the literary problem and devices and that is very very important you have to be prot in the case and inventory has start and end in the similar way every case has start start and end you have to be give a thoughtful point for thinking for discussions this is very very important so cut off point is very very important second part is title title of the case is very very important why it is important for example there was a issue happening in the canteen the students are not satisfied uh, with the foods uh, provided in the canteen so somebody has wrote the whole reports and would like to be present in the form of the case and he has given the uh, title uh, for example uh, canteen strategy of x location okay yeah a strategy uh, related to the canteen it is a single area only one area for discussion when we talk about the case title it have multi focal factors it have multi focal factors it should be the, give a few dimension for understanding case sometimes a movie title uh, give a some pointer for understanding some uh, interest will generate it. if i talk about my own case study if it our reliance fresh the title which i have given is fresh revolution fresh revolution will this wave embrace the town this was the title i have given for uh, reliance fresh when we talk about uh, another case tata nano the title which i had given for this case study is uh, magic dollar 2500 car will this dream come true this was the title for my case study so my dear colleagues this is very important when we give the title of the case study and the write up is not like this one that you start writing at the end you have to be consecutively start writing whenever you point the when you are going for narrative structure in which you identify the various kind of entities in the case where uh, that entities are elements that you identify you start writing at the time also so that at the end you able to get the first draft of your case so i can say it is neither 
possible not desirable to develop the each structure uh, separately and, and then superimposing normally it is always recommended that, that whenever you start when you whenever you identify the case lead after the identify the case lead you start collecting the data related to the case and then you also define the time structure and start narrating the case and also try to make exploratory structure where you able to maintain the interest and the case whatever the issue that the case writer would like to be discussed in the case that gap will be minimized or zero gap is possible so that way you have to be write down the case at the time when you are uh, identify the incidents if it is clear write down 11 in the chat box if if not clear write 12 in the chat box yes right. faster response will help them to discuss more waiting my dear 80 plus participant thank you now the next part of the case is this guy is in release uh, jaise kafi bar aap uh, मूवी देखने जाते हो काफी बार सीरियल देखते हो काफी बार वेब सीरीज होती है उसमें लिखा होता है कि इसके अंदर जो पात्र दिखाए गए वो काल्पनिक है इसका किसी चीज से संबंध नहीं है अगर अनसेंडेंटली अगर ये होता है तो वो एक कुछ अनसेंडेंट होगा इसके पीछे कोई दिखाने का ध्येय नहीं है डिस्कस रिलीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वेन यू आर लुकिंग द सर्टन मूवी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन रियल फैक्ट एंड फिगर इवन दे वॉन्ट टू चेंज द नेम they don't want to highlight identity they don't want to because it will affect the prestige of the person when this situation was happened with that situation uh, that person so you have to uh, avoid to use the same name which was even though the the famous case was happened in new delhi the name was not uh, announced because they want to uh, uh, want to maintain the sentiments of that people so it is very very important that you have to be disguised when essential in order to give the reality in the case yes we, i recommend that the environmental you have to keep the same in the movie the same kind of situation same kind of environment is showing suppose that particular person belong to village area so shoot was done in the village area uh, the kind of family member uh a uh, really whatever the number of real real family members the person have that number of really uh, real number of family members is showing in the movie the gender age this all you have to maintain and lined up with the real time situation so it will look near to originality so that it is possible and once you write the case which is based on real life situations a real type uh, real uh, real situation happening in the industries real situation happening in the society and who ever are affecting with this uh, situation you have to take the concern from this all people it is very good if you take the written permission so that nobody have right to claim after releasing of the case there was a uh, happen in the three idiot also that uh, that uh, the someone is asking that it is a story which is written on this one without taking the real permission from us so this kind of situation must happen after releasing the case so it is better to take the permissions or don't disclose the real names uh, if it affect to the sentiments and the prestige of the character which is involved in the case so next part of this one is the presentations how to present the case how to present the case when we talk about presentation of the case there are certain points i have mentioned over there the case itself appendix which includes table chart balance sheets forms map other informations the general notes which is very important we talk about the organization organizations operating environment the procedures uh, structures uh, organization structures financial information etc technical notes is also important the purpose of technical notes is to introduce the some concept or technique of analysis which uh, the readers does not require to reinvent the wheel that means he does not require to go for further study and just identify that uh, particular techniques and read first
and then be able to apply this technique in the case. If it is drafted in the supporting notes, then it will helping them to not search or search about the, this technique and concept or formula which is required to be used in the case. And the case note is very, very important. When you're writing a case and would like to publish into the very good generals, then it is very important to write the case note because these case notes are helping to the case leaders, which guide the case leader how to discuss this case in the classroom, how to discuss this case in the classroom. And that is a major role of case note. And this is the first uh, one part of the today's uh, program. That is uh, how to write the case. Now I'm coming on the second part of the case. That is how to approach or what is the alternate approach to case writing. This is the first approach of case writing. If this first approach of case writing is clear, I'm expecting the response 13 in the chat box. 13 in the chat box. If anyone question have, then I will start discussion on the first part of the case and then move on the alternate approach of case writing. So my dear colleagues, faster response, helping me to move on the second part of the case. If not any doubt what I have covered, I just again recap to the slide. One minute, please. Disguise and release. We have started from this portion. What is our misperception about the case study? Then what is case study? Then we discuss about what is the role of case study in the retention of the knowledge. Then we had discussed a small situation to understand the importance of the case. Then we discussed what are the phases, how, what are the phases we have to use to develop the case. That is selection of incident. Then data collections. Then structure of the case. Then disguise and release then presentations. So this is the first part of the case. To create uh, one minute, I just want to see again if anyone one have asked the question. Okay, thank you. So most of this part is having 13. Now I'm giving going to the alternate approach of the case writing, which is the last part of today sessions. Alternate approach to the case writing. That is called case difficulty cube which is called case difficulty cube. This is very important. In the case difficulty cube, I would like to explain on the three parameter. On X axis, I want to discuss on analytical dimension. On Y axis, I would like to discuss on conceptual dimension. On Z axis, I would like to discuss on presentation dimensions. But these are the three uh, dimension in which I would like to discuss the alternative approach to the case writing, keeping with the three dimension. So now I'm discussing the first dimension, which is called analytical dimension of the case. So when we talk about this dimension, analytical dimension, the author wish for the students to perform the simplest, uh, to perform the anal analysis in the case. Suppose, for example, you are writing a case, then what is the intention of writing the case? is very important. Whether from this case, you would like that student able to understand this concept and what level of concept, what level of concept you would like the student understand for while solving the case. That is, has to be kept in your mind when you are actually writing the case. That is called analytical dimensions. So when we talk about analytical dimension, there are three degree of dimension in analytical. If we talk about very simplest dimension, that is called first degree in analytical dimension. So I can say like this one, he is a problem. Here is a problem and here is the solution. That means you are asking the direct statements, direct questions. For example, linear programming. So you have written a certain data related to linear programming and the uh, students are required to uh, get the answer, okay, which is good. X1, X2, X3, there are three variables are involved. So you are directly jump on the answer. Our ratio analysis. So you are given certain data and then the students are perform the ratios of that particular. It's the simplest way, uh, degree of difficulty in terms of 
analytical. If you walk of a second degree of difficulty, then you may ask like this one, he has a problem, give a reasonable solutions. In first case, he has a problem, he has a solutions. In the second case, he has a problem, give a reasonable solution. This means certain level of difficulty you have enhanced in the case. If you talk about third degree of difficulty, then you can say like this one, here is a situations. What are the solutions? Here are the different kind of situation you depicted in the case. We have the participant has to identify the situation, identify the real problems, real issues in the case by analyzing the situation, which we term in the case is called situation analysis. Under the situation analysis, there are certain techniques are suggested. I'm writing over here. There are certain techniques are suggested for situation analysis. Sort, paste, eat off, tape, OCP, T block. These are the certain techniques which are I am suggesting to uh, analyze the case. Sort means you know very well. Uh, that is called strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Paste is called political, economical, social, and technological factor. You would like to assess which are uh, which are happening in the case. ETOF means environmental threat and opportunity profile. Same means strat strategic advantage profile. Strategic advantage profile. OCP means uh, organization capability profile. And T block. What is good? What is bad? So these are certain ways to analyze the case. These are the certain ways to analyze the case. If required, in meanwhile, uh, uh, I will take another session also in which how to solve the case. What are the ways by which you are able to solve the case more easily? That can I also discuss if we require in the second time of the session. But this time, the major focus is on case writing. So I just uh, shared the, some of the techniques which are generally used in analysis of the case. Ratio analysis also be part of it. Uh, that can also can be used uh, to better understanding the situations. Now the second dimension, which is written over here, which is shown on the y-axis, that is conceptual dimension. The conceptual dimension, if we talk about degree of conceptual dimension, the degree of difficulty may be increased or decreased with they have a combination of different concepts. So if we talk about the concept, uh, like the teachers which are addressing the concept in the classrooms. So that is called conception dimension. So what kind of level of concept dimension that you would like to be incorporate and discuss with the help of case that come under the conceptual dimension. If we talk about the simplest degree that everyone able to understand the concept by just only reading the case. It does not require any kind of discussions with the other participant to understand the case. And this is a simple, simplest level of concept that you directly depicted in the case. If you want to give the second degree of uh, conceptual dimension, then it requires certain thoughtful discussions with the other participants. Uh, re real, uh, the particip individual participants have certain doubt. In order to uh, clear the doubt, he would like to discuss with the other participants. And if it is a third degree of concept, the concept in the case. It is called the third degree of dimension. When we talk about the uh, presentation dimensions, when we talk about the presentation dimensions, it also talk about the three level, which is shown in the Z axis. If it is the simplest uh, presentation dimension, that means the, the it will generate 100% clarity by reading the case only. It will generate 100% clarity by reading the case only. So uh, you are putting putting little extraneous data. Extraneous means external data. Extraneous means external data. You want to put a very um, uh, simple, very low extraneous data. But in second level of degree of uh, de uh, dimension, then you want to uh, put little more extraneous data. 
and if it is a third level of uh, dimensions then you want to put large amount of external information and it may be less organized it means lot of annexures are they given lot of informations lot of charts are given uh, lot of graphs are given so they uh, this external data make this case complex so how complexity would like to increase that is on your shoulders if we talk about subcubes which is shown in the dimension you can create a cube containing 27 subcubes that is 3 comma 3 comma 3 are very simple context 1 comma 1 comma 1 so either you would like to case uh, put the writing the case in such a way which is not 1 comma 1 comma 1 in terms of difficulties or it is not with 3 comma 3 comma 3 like harvard cases which are very long cases uh, supported by many kind of annexures we have uh, it require the reader to read the case 3 4 5 times to understand the concept sometimes teachers have to share the concept in the classroom for understanding so that is the kind of difficulties that you want to put up in the case so this is very important how much kind of how much difficulty you would like to give when you are writing the case if it is clear write 15 in the chat box yes please so we can move on the few more last slides of the discussions thank you very much uh, just one minute only now the very most important part of the case which is do's and don'ts with the case do's and don'ts with the case what we require to do with the case and what we don't require to do with the case if we talk about do's you have to ask yourself why am i writing this case what is the purpose of writing the case that is teaching value that means teaching value what do i want trainee to learn from this case that is my students what they would like to learn from the case if this case you are writing for the business people then what the people will uh, take out from this case and will it make people think it is not like a case where where it is written certain questions are there simply he has to uh, sort out some information from the case kind of unsing passage so this need not uh, provide a background for thinking so you have to understand that such kind of simplicity does not to be there in the case you have to organize your material and prepare outline of the case you have to note all known facts with the operating statistics that we had discussed at the data collection you have to schedule your time use simple language in plain word don't use glittering words because it is not a taste of english it is a taste of learning you want to impart the real learning to the part takers so the simple language to be used keep the focus and link the idea narrative structure this is very important it is log not logically connected then people will lose the business people there is bahubali movie dekhoge the people like to watch this movie multiple times the flashback and the present are very much connected directly so that it will create the interest of audience to watch again and again there are many cases out there which are discussed by the teachers multiple times with the same audience with the classroom but every time when it was discussed that is discussed you will get new dimension in the case so the multi factor case multi focal factor case is very very important when you writing the case keep this thing into your mind schedule a time gap between the drafting and editing the case nearly about four times what you don't require to do a case is also important don't inject your value open the case you have to be this very very important statement i'm sharing many times you write a very good case but it was yeah it is not selected it is just because you put your opinions in the case you have to be bear observer you you have to be bear observer you don't require to put your mind when you writing the case right don't write praise of yourself and don't provide the solution solution has to be discussed 
solution has to be discussed by the part takers. If you provide a kind of solution in the case itself, then what is the point of discussions? So it is very, very important. What are do's and don'ts with the case? The last two slides for discussion, and then we open the forum for the case. So before going for the next slide, if it is clear, write 17 in the checkbox, please. If do's and don'ts are clear, please write 17 in the chat box, please. Okay, thank you. Last second slide. This is again the overall case plan. What are the pointers that you have to keep in the case plan? Opening paragraph, outline of the final case subtitle wise, data requirement list, and proposed schedule of activity. So, overall case writing plan. I am sharing with you with my personal experience that opening paragraph, outline of the final case subtitle wise, data requirement list, and proposed schedule of activity. Opening paragraph is very, very important. Opening paragraph is nothing but length of the case. It should contain the right kind of information so that the case reader can recognize whose role is to be assumed and identify the nature of decisions uh, are problem. When, where, in what type of organization the case took place. Again, repeating. When, where, in what type of organization the case took place. If the opening program is not acceptable, it must be revised. And it should not contain, if you're writing an opening program, it should not normally contain six sentences or 60 words. It should not contain more than six sentences or 60 words. Like when you are uh, uh, going to watch any movie, the uh, first 15 minutes of the movie create the interest. Our first 15 minutes of the movie with uh, you are seeing it's a boring movie. So you just want to be wait till the time period of break. And if not getting something, you don't want to, uh, you just left out the talkies. So opening program, opening uh, paragraph is very, very important. And outline the final case subtitle wise, because uh, case does not contain one paragraph. The case contain multiple uh, paragraph, multiple uh, entities you explain. So every entity have a subtitle, which create the interest of the readers. And data requirement list, because a lot of entities are involved. Uh, if I talk about my own case of Reliance Fresh, then I said the government is involved. So I collected the uh, data related to government. Then the roadside vendors are involved. I have took the interview and collected uh, uh, the information and opinion is in terms of data requirement. Then there may be a uh, roadside vendors. There may be a cold, cold storage. There may be a Reliance Fresh. So accordingly, I've created a data requirement list. If I would, I, I would like to put certain data, which is related to economic context, which is essential for the case for better understanding. In some kind of tables are required, some kind of charts are required, some kind of graph are required, uh, some kind of economic data is required, some kind of financial data is required. Then you can put up this all into data requirement list, and you have to propose the schedule of activity. That is very important. This is a very important point I'm sharing with you that uh, whenever you write a case, after writing the case, you have to discuss the case in the classroom. You 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 personally don't discuss the case because when you're discussing the case, you would like to, uh, you would like that the student will come the same pointer, same issues that you would like to raise from the case. It is better that you will keep yourself as a bare observe, observer in the class. You have will be a, one of the participants which are sitting in the class and one of your colleagues are representing your case in the classroom. You will take the feedback and when you have, would like to present the case in IAMS and other uh, other institute for uh, publications, they are demanding whether this case has been tested before publication or not, uh, before sending for uh, review or not. So that reports are mandatory to be placed along with the case write-up. So this is very important. So if you are uh, would, if you would like to publish the case into very good journal, so please uh, uh, discuss this case among the students, among the faculty members, collect the reviews, certain kind of changes or updations are required 
please do it so that you can add more life to your own case and the last uh, slide this was the last slide from my side so this is uh, uh, thank you very much i hope it is understandable so uh, if everything is understandable write uh, 21 if there is a problem write 19 in this uh, if it is clear this slide then write 19 if everything is clear write 21 so whatever way if 21 that means whatever i discuss uh, till uh, near about 2 hours it has been uh, understood to everyone uh, waiting for the response from everyone so that uh, and this is my uh, the last slide uh, this is my email id sorry one minute this is my email id so uh, if anyone have any uh, problems or any inputs are required from my side or if i'm able to help you in writing the case i am the first person feel very much fortunate to help to any of the partakers so it is my email id dean.fobc@atmiuni.ac.in or you can also connect my another email id vishal.khazgiwala@atmiuni.ac.in so uh, i am very much thankful to uh, professor kangu sir and uh, cvv global university the cv uh, cv uh, cv raman global university and the professor sanjita for providing a wonderful opportunity and i and this is a uh, 15 to 16 session i am taking on the case writing but the best part which i would like to share uh, without uh, anything that the participation of yours is very very good and that motivate me to uh, for whole session of 2 hours so that is fantastic input that you given and involvement of yours is very fantastic so thank you very much to all participant thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much over to sanjeev madam uh, and this forum is open for any question answer yes. if any anyone have any question answer you can unmute yourself thank you for and uh, you can uh, discuss or ask the questions i am i am fortunate to give you answer yes sir sir whether uh, participants are like to uh, write in the chat box or they can directly uh, both way madam both way i am okay with both so i can ask all the participants who have uh, whoever have any questions they can either directly ask to sir or they can write uh, uh, the question in the chat box so there are two uh, options always because we are part of the case study either one it is not understandable either uh, one everything is clear i am okay with both uh, options because uh, again case study for me also i think If second the one is uh, right here so probably everybody is clear okay thank you very much sir uh, yes uh, so this is from my side sir thank you sir sanjeev madam please yes sir the uh, participants uh, are not having any questions so we can go for the uh, vote of thanks sir achar pe bata yes any of the participants having any question okay sir so it's the time to uh, propose a vote of thanks i am very much uh, thankful to professor uh, visal kanziwala sir for joining with us and uh, elaborated so well about the case studies method how to uh, prepare uh, what are the do's and don'ts that uh, that will definitely help us in the future use um, i heartily thank to professor priyadarshi kanungo sir for making it happen and showing his great interest for conducting such an in, in uh, such uh, um, topic for uh, for us and chosen uh, that topic for the benefit of teaching fraternity as well as for students lastly i thank to all the participants for uh, giving their time and for patience hearing and uh, definitely i feel that uh, this session would help us uh, help all of us Uh, for our future use thank you all of you
Thank you all participants hope to see you personally if sometime if i got an opportunity to meet you thank you all thank, thank you, you sir, sir. Thank you. recording